Hello everybody. For those of you who are interested in registering and coding a new battery into your BMW, there are plenty of instructional videos about coding, programming, in addition to uh, lots of enthusiast sites that walk you through that. But if you've ended up at my page, you're probably really, really intimidated by this. And the more you read about it, the more complicated it seems. So I'm going to break this down for you. It's going to be super simple. I uh, registered and coded my battery with no more than two pieces of software. In some cases you can get by with just one piece of software and a cable that I spent less than $11.50 for. It's a K plus D can cable. Came with a CD which was okay but not up to date so I just used information from the internet. But clearly if you're a newbie to this and all you want to do is get a new battery into your car and you want to do it the simplest and easiest way possible without becoming a coding expert and reading about all these different pieces of software and trying to figure out how INPA, INPA, or NCS Expert, or the BMW coding tool, or Tool32, or any of these other programs work you've come to the right place. I'll try to make this really short, really simple, because uh, if you want to look at one hour long videos on the subject, there are plenty of them out there. Before I start, I'm going to almost beg you to subscribe to my channel. I'm desperately trying to get to a thousand viewers and uh, would really appreciate a subscription if you found this helpful or informative. So let's get started. Before we proceed any further, let's, let me share with you something that I did. I was very concerned about having to reprogram the radio and all my settings in the car you know, when I removed the old battery. I was really afraid that I was going to lose everything. I have to spend a lot of time resetting everything. So what I did and I don't know if this is a good practice or not, so the experts feel free to chime in in, your, in the comments section. But I took a, a spare car battery, or probably any 12-volt battery with uh, decent size capacity will work. And I connected the positive of that battery to here, and then the negative to someplace here in the engine compartment. But anyway, hung a 12-volt battery, connected it here, before I disconnected the battery in the, in the rear of the car. This way, there was always 12 volts being supplied to the system, and therefore the memories all should be able to maintain their knowledge and information. It is a little tricky doing that, so you gotta pay attention to making sure that you don't allow any of the cables to short because you got 12 volts live running through the car. So when you pull the positive off at, at, the, at the battery, in the hatch, you have 12 volts there, and the rest of the frame of the car is at ground uh, because you've got this auxiliary battery hanging out the front here. So after I got my new battery installed, then I disconnected this sort of backup battery, and lo and behold, it produced exactly the result that I was interested in achieving, and that is not having to reprogram any memory stations uh, or any seat modules or anything that had memory. So that's just a little tip. Um, again, I don't know whether that's a good practice or not a good practice, but it worked fine for me. Just pay extra special attention, have extra rags and things to keep those electrical circuits at the actual battery from um, touching anything they shouldn't touch. To, well, basically to keep them isolated from everything. So my vehicle is a 2012 BMW X5. It had a 90 amp hour AGM battery in it. And if you look at one of my other videos, you will see that I put in a 95 amp hour AGM battery in it. So I've plugged my cables in and I've launched INPA. And you can see I have a battery on and ignition on. So we're going to go to E70 engine, and the closest, I have an N55 engine, uh, but if you're just doing battery coating, I think it doesn't matter. So I just picked the closest one, I picked the N52, and you want to go to F5 status. F5 IBS power management. Look at... PM field one, and you can see this is all in German, but uh, there's an English version of this. But you can see right here that the battery was changed and registered at 147, 230 kilometers. Here's the original screenshot of when I registered the new battery 
here it is in English. I'm running multiple laptops, so this particular laptop had the English version sitting on it, but I wanted you to see what the English is. First battery change at 147, 230 kilometers. And all I did was hit F5, call it B exchange. I think it stands for battery exchange. Hit battery exchange, and that's it. That's all you have to do to be able to register your new battery. Why do you want to register your new battery? According to this website, www.ucanic.com backslash BMW backslash battery dash registration. If you are replacing the, your original BMW battery with an identical battery, so if you have an AGM, you're replacing it with an AGM. And if you have a 90 amp hour battery, you're replacing it with a 90 amp hour battery, your registration is done. It's that simple. All you have to do is use NPA if you're installing a different type of battery. So if you're going from AGM to lead acid, or if you're going from lead acid to AGM, that you're going to need to use the NCS Expert tool. Maybe. And the reason I say maybe is in my case, I was going from a 90 amp hour AGM battery to a 95 amp hour AGM battery. So I assumed I now needed to code the battery. Here's what I found. Coded NCS Expert, went down to battery, and here's what I found. Here's my selections, and there's no 95 amp hour selection available. So what do I do? Certainly I don't want to send it to a 105 amp hour AGM battery, but there's no 95. So I'm going to leave it alone. If anyone knows how to modify the file so that I have 95 amp hour AGM as a variable that I can select, please put it in the comment field. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you a little bit in terms of simplifying how daunting and intimidating coding might be, but in the case of a battery change, it's pretty simple.